Hey, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. And I didn't think we were going to end up with a webinar today, but it's really great. Thaddeus Hay is going to be joining us from Nozani.com. They provide a lot of tremendous services to Amazon sellers, and he's going to be talking to you about how he can help you uh, increase your reviews, conversion, photography, content, bullet points, listings. Um, so we're going to be talking about that for a bit today. And then next Wednesday, we're going to be with Ecom Engine and Liz. Uh, but Thaddeus, do me a favor, tell our listeners who you are, what your company does, how you got into this crazy space that we're all in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. My name's Thaddeus. Like I said, I'm one of the co-founders here at Nozani.com. Um, we, we've basically streamlined a process to help Amazon sellers of all sizes. And uh, the reason we, we did it is as, as a, a former Amazon seller and a current Amazon seller myself, I realized all the problems. You know, we've helped launch several several brands some successful some have just blown up in our faces and and in learning in, in these past several years we've learned a lot about how to succeed um we've learned a lot about what not to do and and by doing so we've come across people like cj um and his wonderful group but also a lot of processes and techniques that have helped us and helped a lot of brands that we work with succeed on amazon hey i gotta tell you by admitting that some of your products were disasters to me that builds your credibility like through the roof. Because if anyone says they're always successful, it's like they're just totally full of shit. Okay, <laughs> okay. You cut your teeth. I mean, you learn a lot more from your mistakes than you ever learn from your your successes. You learn what not to do and how to get better. So okay. I want to thank you for your honesty um, about <laughs> saying that. You know, you made mistakes like we all have. Okay. Um, so who did you found the company with, and what what are the main things that you guys do? Great question. So I have two co-founders with me. Um, one is Kyle Tarter. He's been in the Amazon consulting space for several years, and he's kind of the, the brains behind the operation, if you will. He's really, really amazing with Amazon, sold a lot of his own products, consulted lots of companies as well. And my other co-founder co is uh, Travis Thorpe. He uh, previously, previously founded a company called Boostability. Um, Boostability was uh, an SEO agency that provided you know services for small companies small businesses around the world they were one of the largest seo companies in the nation here in the united states and so um he's brought into this industry with us a lot of technology that's helped us scale processes and systems that's allowed us to scale as a company and therefore provide services at an affordable price for all sizes of so you got a you got a seller you got a tech guy what's yeah. the third guys what is what's his special sauce um, and that would be, third guy's me, right? So I'm the third co-founder, right? And uh, I just work with business development, um, always finding new opportunities, new ways to uh, connect with Amazon sellers and, and provide that service that, that so many have found successful. You know, I also think it's great that you work with both smaller sellers and, and more advanced sellers alike. Totally. Um, all sellers can learn. All sellers can uh, do better. Uh, and, and they all, I think, need some assistance and they're open to it. So I think it's great. So a lot of the smaller guys are a little afraid to reach out to companies. I think they're going to get hosed on the monthly costs. Yeah. Um, how do you do your price structuring for small versus more advanced? Great question. So it, it really is. I am full of great questions. Yeah, you are. You are nonstop. Um, and so in regards to how we do our pricing, it really is based on the company. Being a, I mean, having come from startup companies, having been a startup once, it, we understand the startup costs and we've tried to adjust pricing and packages to meet the needs of, you know, a brand new seller on Amazon or somebody selling $10 million a month. And so the packages is based just on the scope of work, kind of the budget that the client has and therefore what services we can provide for, for what they, they can afford. All right. I got my list of questions for you in the subjects. So we're going to talk about BSR for the newer sellers. Explain what BSR is. Yeah, it's the best seller's rank. So Amazon, Amazon's algorithm gives a lot of attention to two things that, that really affect the BSR, and that's sales and reviews. And it's not necessarily just the quantity that they're looking for. They're looking for consistency in both of those. Um, they want to know that you're consistently selling and consistently getting positive reviews because to them that means the customers are liking the products. Therefore, Amazon puts you in front of the people. All right, when it comes to reviews, um, also, I got to tell you, I like Thaddeus. I like his company. Um, reviews, you got to be really careful about, okay? Uh, because there are review manipulation suspensions. They've been coming in waves. We haven't seen a ton of them in the last couple of weeks. Uh, but back in like November, December, 
There was just a boatload of review manipulation suspension. So what do you guys do so that sellers don't get in trouble for review manipulation? Great question. So we, as far as reviews go, it's incredibly important to do white hat, to, to use white hat methods. Always follow Amazon's principles or else there's going to be problems like CJ said. Um, some two key things that we do. Number one, um, we, use, we use an automated email system, something similar to like a feedback genius or a feedback five. And these tools really help customers um, know your story. Now, here, here's the real thing, though. You, you can use those simply and just use an automated um, template that they provide and get, you know, meet average results. What we like to do is we like to make sure that those emails that are being sent to the customers actually portray a story, a cause, a company, rather than just a product. People want to support people. People want to support causes. They don't want to support products as much. And so if you're able to portray a company or a cause in those emails, we're seeing a far better conversion rate um, with our clients. And so we do help our clients write those emails to get higher conversions. I got to tell you, I think you're preaching to the choir. You know, I, I was a trial yeah. lawyer. I always represented entrepreneurs, but I spent like a decade and a half doing nothing but trying cases and persuading juries of what I wanted them to do. And it's all about storytelling. I mean, wow. that's how humans have learned going back to the cavemen. Storytelling, storytelling is how you pass things on from generation to generation and how you absorb things. They're like in the State of the Union Address, there's always a story. Like the guy who, who got out of North Korea, there's a story behind it. And that's how you connect. So I think that's great. I don't think I've heard of anyone else really talking about doing it with a storytelling technique. I think that's a great idea. Um, all right. Also, I want to tell everyone, um, people who are on this live, if you post questions or you post comments, I should be able to see it. And either me or Thaddeus should be able to, to comment to it. So, all right. So, um, well, and one more thought too, CJ, about those reviews. That's good. Cause I lost my next question. Thank I you. Want, for I want to interject because th there's a couple other methods to gain reviews, but a, a lot of sellers are focused too on how to mitigate bad reviews. Um, what we found is just a little tidbit. I mean, we could talk about these this for days, but a little tidbit that we've found to be successful is when you're creating a listing, um, and or maybe not creating, optimizing a listing. Go through, look at your bad reviews. What are people saying? If it's a shoe and it says, "Hey, it doesn't fit right," and they gave you a two star review, make sure in your presentation of your product, whether it's in the photography or the content, to actually address people's concerns. When you're addressing people's concerns, you're going to mitigate that bad concern moving into the future because they're going to have proper expectations purchasing your product. And so whether you're a new seller or an existing seller, look at other people's concerns for, for your competitors or, or for yourselves. And that will be a useful tool in generating photography and content that can, that can actually mitigate those bad reviews moving forward. You know what? I, I love this because also let, let's say you're, you're, you're selling shoes. Use your example shoes. Yeah. And you start getting bad reviews from people with really wide feet, right? Yeah. So in response, you alter your listing. Maybe even say, hey, this isn't the best thing at all for people with really wide, fat feet. Exactly. Right? And then if you do get dinged, we can use that in your plan of action. Say, whoa, 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 we warned. It's been in our listing since exactly. 2000, January 2018 when I heard CJ and Thaddeus talking about this stuff. And so we're going to try and get better. You always phrase a plan of action in a positive manner. But we had it in the listing. It's not great for people with flat feet or wide feet. That's Absolutely. huge. That that is, I think, the tidbit of the day. Okay, <laughs> the of the day, I like you it. Take, you take a negative, you make it into a positive, you sell more, you get better reviews, and you also develop ammunition if you get suspended or you lose the ASIN. Yep, I like right, it. What else you got? Tell me some more. That that's a really great way of looking at it. Yeah, for sure. I got. I haven't heard that. I, I, I speak at events around the world. I attend events around the world. And I haven't heard anybody say to work your negative reviews um, into your listings to avoid them. And also, I think it's a great defense against suspensions. But I think okay. that's huge. Oh, yeah, I would agree. I think we found a lot of these things by, by actually messing up, like CJ said, you know, in the past. And so these tips and these, these things, we manage tens of millions of dollars in, in product on Amazon. And so across all categories, all, all verticals, we're able to see tips and tricks that people are either using or haven't used that could work in these, in these, in these uh, different environments. So we've been really blessed in that way. Um, I think, and then you get rid of the reviews. You, get, you do some feedback removal. Exactly. Um, 
where we 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 used to do it as a where we had problematic cases. Um, we would do feedback removal. We didn't charge anything extra for it, but it helped us get sellers reinstated. You know, when we would run against kind of roadblocks. Uh, we haven't launched it again yet as a standalone service, but it's on my radar to do that because I know we can do a great job at it. Um, so that's something for the future for a future webinar. Uh, we're going to start helping people get rid of bad feedback and bad reviews. All right. What else? Tell us more about, tell me more about listing optimization, which you mentioned. Yeah, of course. So in regards to listing optimization, we, and maybe we can take a step back. We want to focus on, on sales with our customers. Like everyone wants to talk about sales, right? And so we break sales into two categories. How to generate sales comes from conversion and from searchability. The ability to find your product and then the ability for customers to, to find it and buy it. Um, and so I'll talk, I'll touch briefly on both of them, but starting with conversion, um, we found that photography on the, that left hand side photography, seven to nine images, that plays the most influential role in conversion. Um, and so when I say that, what the, the method we use that we found successful here at Nozani and with all of our customers is you want two to three white background photos illustrating the product just on a white background, a detailed shot. You want two to three lifestyle photos. Once again, this is where we connect with the customer with a story. You're, you're showing the product in use, helping them imagine themselves using it. And then you want two to, two to three infographics. These infographics are going to target the key features of the product. And in some cases, target the key concerns that people may have. And so these two to three infographics are actually critical because our goal with our customers is to sell someone from looking at the pictures alone. Um, with you know so many people, I think the number 60 or 70 percent of people purchasing on their iPhone or their smartphone, they're not going to read through the content like they used to. It's not going to be as available. The first thing they see is those photos. So we need to make sure those photos sell the product without anything more. They know the key benefits. They know why yours is better than the competitor. If it's more more expensive than the competitor, they need to know why in that in those photos. They need to know why on all of these things, and that's going to convert a customer. Dude, I think that's great. In fact, I don't know if you work on CreateSpace. You know, we we don't sell anything, and we don't allow anyone, any of our 23 people I think we have working for us now, no one's allowed to sell anything because we keep all confidential information. If a seller hires someone else to do a plan of action, and they're also a seller like the woman in Texas or the guy in Boston whose names will remain nameless, okay? <laughs> Um, they could potentially use that information. You know, we're a law firm. Everything is confidential. No one here sells anything. But I got my books on CreateSpace. And if you could help me with those listings and do the pictures better, I am all in for you guys to do it. Absolutely. Well, in Nozani, we do provide affordable photography for all hey, of us. What's the name? What, what is Nozani? How'd you come up with the name? Great question. So, I mean, it started way back. We actually started as Prime Business Development. Um, and there couldn't be a more cliche name. Probably the three most cliche words in the whole world were just put into one name for a business, and it was just terrible. So when we brought on you know, some bigger players, the, their stipulation was, I'll come on as long as we change the name. So we thought about all kinds of names, and eventually we, we put together the words Innovate and Amazon. And right. Inazon, right? But Inazon just didn't look well on, on paper, and we're just struggling. So we flipped it backwards, and it's Nozani. And That's so great. we're to Innovate Amazon. So what about keywords? What about indexing? Great questions. Okay. Meet so, yeah, and that goes right along with uh, conversion and searchability. Um, with the indexing, it's, it's a recent change within Amazon to make sure your keywords are manually indexed within their system. Maybe not manually, but indexed within their system. And so that, that's something that most sellers are not checking on. A lot of our recent customers coming on board didn't realize the change within Amazon, and they find their, their keywords unindexed or their search terms unindexed. So that's something that every seller needs to check. Um, and, and then the next thing going into that, those keywords and those search terms, there's a lot of extensive research that's done. And most sellers know there's lots of software to be used, lots of, lots of possibilities there. Um, but you'll want to use every single word that's available to you within Amazon. They have a word count, use them all. Um, and, and we help our customers use all of that because then you, you're putting in the most keywords, the most search terms, the most possible things that people are searching for that can connect with someone. Um, we're, we're noticing that it's, there's thousands of sellers selling very similar products on Amazon right now. We're looking for the ability to connect with people and to connect with exactly what they're looking for. So if they're searching for something, we want them to find it in the photos and the content. 
And so that's that's kind of the next step within the content. It is important to have optimized content. The back end is still important. The front end is still important. And uh, and that's 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 that. I got to tell you, also on the back end, um, it's really important to do it well because yeah, we're, we're seeing the brands in our intellectual property area about the brands knowing what's in the back end or seeing what's in the back end, getting some, getting information from Amazon what's in the back end. So just putting like Hewlett Packard or HP in the back end is a really, really bad idea. You got to give a lot more thought or farm it out. I mean, I'm a huge believer that seller's skill is identifying products that they can sell, right? They're not listing experts, they're not optimization experts. So give that out to a company, give that to Nozani. They know what they're doing. They know how to do the pictures. You're not photographers. You're, you, you, there's a, I think it was, um, it wasn't Tom Sawyer, one of the books that like the steamboat captains, how to know just their portion of the Mississippi River really, really well. And then yeah. someone else to go for another portion of the river. So stick with your portion of the river. That's how you make your money. It's like doing your own tax returns. Doesn't make any sense when someone can do it better than you, faster than you, at an affordable price, make you more money while you go out and figure out more products. Absolutely. And that's played a lot into the process we've established here in Nozani. We do not have one person that does it all for our seller. We have divisions in our company that focus specifically on photography and others that focus spe specifically on lifestyle photography, white background photography, infographics, content, keywords. And so because we've, we've divvied that out and followed that saying to a T, you know, let the, let the experts do what they're good at and don't make them do anything else, we get the best work done for, from those experts. And it's clear that you love what you do, which is yeah. cool. <laughs> That's great. So, I love it too, man. We deal with entrepreneurs every day. Half our practice, I mean, listen, I'm practicing law now. I think this is year 22, 23, right? I think I was admitted in 95. Absolutely. And, uh, but half of our business has nothing to do with the law. It's writing plans of action for sellers. It's using these teams in the two conference rooms behind me to write plans of action. The other half has everything to do with the law intellectual property. But I freaking love it. I love dealing with entrepreneurs. I love how you make money selling like anything and everything. Well, and I the same energy in you. Well, and I love helping those people, right? Because you come from a space, I think there's a lot of people here to just make money in this industry. A lot of people in my position, consultants, they want to teach courses and charge you 35K for a course. I think that's a bit ridiculous and quite absurd. So we're here to make a, a difference in this industry by, by providing services that sellers need at an affordable price rather than charge you up the butt for something that you, know, that you may not even get. And, and in the end, you're still going to have questions, you know, so just just let Nozani be that person. You won't get screwed over. I got to tell you something. I was invited. It was a, a former public relations person that worked for me, booked me at some event where the guy was charging like twenty five or thirty five thousand yeah. dollars. Right. For like two days. And I, I was like, you know what? I'm not getting involved in that. And I, I pulled out because I think if you're charging ridiculous fees, you, you, you kind of look like a snake oil salesman. I would agree. No one's <laughs> got the magic. Everyone knows. Everyone should know what their portion of it is, but selling on Amazon, being successful, online retail, it, it's hard work and it's, you need a lot of thought and drive. Absolutely. Um, and I think you focus on people who really know what they're talking about, not snake oil salesmen. I would agree. And so, there, right. There's no magic trick to selling on Amazon. It really is not magic. It's just successfully doing little things consistently. Yeah, I think thinking it through, like thinking it through how you're going to use the pictures you can put up. I love that you take the negative reviews and use them in your listing to avoid future negative reviews, and then you could use us to get rid of them. Yeah, I think that's to me that that is like simple genius. It's great, and I've never heard anybody else talk about doing that in any of the. I mean, I I have to have spoken in front of like tens of thousands of people already. You know, I'm just. Uh, the mileage is insane, but I got to tell you, it's fine. Traveling is good. My wife meets me every couple of trips and we get some time away. Yeah. All right. What, we're going to wrap it up. What do you want sellers to know? How can they reach you? I got your website here and I'm putting you on the spot because I'm going to ask for your direct email. What should yeah. I put here? My direct email, thad, T-H-A-D, at nozani.com. Yep, go ahead, contact me directly. I'd love to hear from you. Nozani.com. Correct. All right, don't be shy. I want you to bury this guy in emails, ask yep. questions, okay? Yep. And uh, um, all right, 
phone, just email. That's the best way to reach you guys. Yeah, that's you can send me an email. Call the number on our website. Um, either way, we'll, we'd be happy to help. Like I said, we started this business primarily to be an actual solution to, to sellers' legitimate problems and to do it at an affordable rate. So I'd love to, to be a part of helping any business scale. And um, and please get in touch with any questions. Any more plugs you want to put out there before I put out mine? No, I think that's that's it for to me today. All right. First, I want to talk about the events that we're going to be speaking at. Okay. We've got Retail Global coming up, Global Sources, Just One Dime, Prosper. Uh, there's an event in Brooklyn, New York at the Palace on Tuesday the 6th and here in New York. Um, we're going to be at the Platinum Business Partners and Momentum Day and E-Commerce Expo in London. So any of these events, you need someplace to go to be inspired and to learn, shoot me an email, cj at amazonsellerslawyer.com. I'll give you a code so you get in for, for less money. Uh, but all great, great, great events. If you're going to get into Australia, you got to learn the marketplace there. Okay. If you want to learn more worldwide, global sources in Hong Kong. So these things are vital. Also, please, we all do business by selling. If you are buying on Amazon, which you all are, even a love hate relationship, use Amazon Smile and pick the Ty Lewis Campbell Foundation as your charity. It is a fraternity brother of mine. Go Zeta Beta brothers out there in the world. Um, they, they lost their son to brain cancer and they turned tragedy into triumph. So shop with Amazon Smile. Pick the Ty Lewis Campbell Foundation. It fun, funnels money to the charity. They do nothing but try and find cures for childhood cancers. So anyway, thank you very much for joining us. Thaddeus, thank you for being on. Good I'm going to call you right back so you can redo the listing on my CreateSpace. Yes, sounds good. All right, take care. Thanks, guys.